welcome to Mama's Time Out Corner. My name's Christine, and this is where I will take time to just chit chat with anything and everything concerning womanhood, motherhood, wifehood, all while playing games. Um, I hope you will join me, and this is just a relaxing time. You do not even have to play the games, um, but I would appreciate your comments and your feedback at the bottom. Now with um, Animal Crossing, we did go and um, we had our first adventure coming back after not playing for about a year. And uh, I went to Harvey's Island and I helped Reese and Cyrus um, create their wedding day, so to speak, and took a photo. I forgot that happened in June, so um, I'm not going to stress out. Last time when I first started playing, that was during COVID, the height of COVID. I played and played and played, and I was like, I have to make sure that I do it every day so I can get all the hearts and get all the furniture. Um, but this time, it's still going to be fun, but it's more for, hey, when I want to play and... Um, when I want to play and how I want to play. So since I did start playing last, or 2020, um, I think it was about summer um, when I started, I did finish my island or came very close to it. It started getting boring and stagnant where there's nothing new to do. So I kind of redid my island. Um, I started off from close to scratch. I saved all my money because, hey, if you have millions in the bank, even though it's not real money, it's kind of hard to get rid of. So I did rent out some space from my husband and my son, and I used their space. Um, I didn't put it in their bank, though I did pay them um, to just uh, store some of my stuff and put some of my money, um, actually all of my money and anything that I wanted to save. I did sell a bunch of stuff. Because I figured that's also kind of fun in a game, especially when you have money. And my goal was just to use that money. So I did use my, that money to kind of um, get, finish up my house. Um, I'm using that money to kind of move, move, um, move the houses to where I want them to be. But for the most part, that's just going to be the most that I do with that money. Otherwise, I'm going to try and just earn money the authentic way yes even though i do have a lot the authentic way to just um, um advance in the game as natural as it can be of course i you know i'm going to go ahead and dip into my bank accounts like opening up the stores at harvey's island but i'm going to try and earn as much as i can um the goals for this island at least a year ago to so use a lot do a lot of water features um and then i also wanted the stores and because before i did have the stores right by the airport but this time i wanted to change things about and the museum to move them to a different area um, let's see can i get over this way nope i cannot um and yeah so you're gonna see a lot of water features I wanted it to be like an island, it's like a tropical, tropical island kind of feel, vacation every day. Um, yeah, so even by the airport, you'll see I have the entrance. It's so cool. I love this. All these islands. Oh yeah, somebody has a bubble. Now I did not remember... Whom I had. Um, let's do this. Is she going to leave? That's oh, okay, Kiki. You can move. Okay. I don't know if I'll go ahead and go um, island hop to see who's available. But um, otherwise, I will. Just let the space fill until I am ready to actually engineer who I want. I see a lot. I left a bunch of stuff. My pockets were full. Trying to move stuff and 
I think that here is my orchard. I have set it up as an orchard of sorts. Or like a park. No, 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 that's not true. That, it's a park. Um, with beach access over here. Um, yeah, so who knows? Now that I'm getting back into playing, who knows if I will change what I want to do and how it goes from there. And then again, it also depends on how, how often I do play. Isn't this a nice view? Oh, look at that. Wait, how do I take a picture? I guess I take a... Uh, okay. How do I look at me? That's a frame. Okay, and then... Yeah. Let's see. Yeah. So, let's see me put all these water features. Now, my favorite, I think one of my favorite spots is by the museum. <laughs> Look, a tub in front of the fireplace. Hey, when it gets cold at night and you want to hang out in the tub, that's a perfect spot. So, like over here, that's good right here. Look at that. I love this spot. It's by the museum. So what do you guys do for downtime and relaxing? Um, how many things do you do? Does it change over time? Um, do you do the same thing over and over again? Like I have several, like I love watching movies, cartoons, oh yes, cartoons, some cartoons. Um, I love reading, like I can go through books reading so much. I do tend to read a lot of the same books over and over again, like authors like uh, Stephanie Lawrence, um, Amanda Quick, who also does the other Jane Castle, Jane and Friends books, uh, Karen Hawkins. Those are just some of the ones that I go to and just read over and over and over again. Now I did branch out, uh, yeah I did, I did branch out and I started reading uh, Amanda Quick's, um, her newer series, I guess they're new to me, they're not new to other people, but it's like The Burning Cove, and I, I am itching now for the next ones because I've finished reading them, and, um, oh, what's this now? Yeah, I know, balloon, balloon, do I want to hit it? Oh, I do have it, if I can get to it. Um... And I'm like, I want to, I'm, I'm waiting for the next one to come out. That's a bad thing though, like when you're reading a series, um, like Kristen Feehan, um, I do love some of her books too, some of her series. And wait, how do I pick up again? Uh oh, not that. X? No, Y. Y. I think it's Y. Hold on. Um, okay, I need to put that away. And then one, yep. Um, some of the series, like I started reading, and then I'm like, oh no, there aren't. Ooh, cool money. Um, the books I'm I'm reading so much faster than the book being released. These are the times when you want your authors to be like, come on, come on, finish the book already, or what are you doing working another series? I'm waiting for this series. Um, yeah, and there's another author, R.L. Matthewson, Matthewson, I might say her name the wrong way, but she's, um, I'm reading some of her, um, her series, one series, um, Neighbors from Hell, oh my gosh, those are hilarious, um, they're rated R for some spots, but they are hilarious, the dialogue and just the family dynamics and, uh, oh my word. It's, it's, if there, if for a movie, yeah, but it's like, I'm waiting for the next one, and it's like, you're kind of like, oh, come on. So some of the series, I don't like to read until all of them, I can access all of them, but hey, 
sometimes I just want to read. And I go ahead and read them. And then I just have to wait. Like with the Burning Cove series, I just have to wait um, for the next one. And it looks like for that series, it's one a year. So I already... I think I did read... Yeah, I did read the 2023. And we are only halfway through 2023. So... Um, I'm gonna have to wait for the next one. And who knows, I might wait until the end of one week, to the end of the year. Maybe I will read it and then slowly read one book at a time until 2025. Oh my. Yeah, I don't know. I just, I read through books so fast. Um, and then I reread them. So I guess there's no harm in waiting. I can just reread. Really, it's just that you want to know what happens for some of the characters, like some of the main characters or the family dynamics. You want to know what happens and how everything progresses. And um, yeah, so what's, what do you do? What do you do over and over again um, that fills you with joy and relaxes you? Like, I, I guess I would say reading would be my biggest thing. Because at night, at the end of the day, when everything's turned off, everybody's in bed, I take out my uh, my phone and on that library app, uh, Libby, the app, um, I just borrow a ton of books and I just read. And that can be a danger because it can be hard to put my phone down because um, I'm reading. Um, and I can just read and read and read and before I know it, the whole night has gone by, so I try and monitor the time too, but it's like I love reading and I go through books so fast. Um, I would, I, I used to do the same thing with paperback. Um, and I would just go through it, through the books, and I'd be like, we're in for the next one. I want to go to the library or to the bookstore, um, depending on on stuff, but, um, yeah, that's the, the joys of electronics, it's another one, where you have access to all these books, you don't even have to pay for them, you just borrow them, um, you know, kind of stuff, I'll come back to that later, and, um, you can read and then return it, and then, oh, I love this, the combination where you have the audio and the book. Oh, that's sweet. Cause then I, I um, I keep note of where I am in the audiobook or in the ebook, and then I switch over to the next to the if if I'm reading the ebook, then I'll switch over to the audio and pick up where I left off. Sometimes I go back a little bit, but I pick off where I left off, and then vice versa, and you just continue on. It's it's so good. But my goal this year. Actually, this summer, is to start reading more fictional books. No, nonfiction, nonfiction, Christine, nonfiction. To start reading more nonfiction books, and um, yeah, because it's like I still end up learning stuff, and I end up reading a lot of fictional books that take takes up my time, and I don't pay attention to. Nonfiction. Now I do. I have been reading some nonfiction, based on my my interests. Like right now, I'm trying to get back into canning, um, or not get back into, but learning how to can. Then I homeschool our son, and then what's the other one? Oh, writing. Um, yeah. So reading reading books on that. Um, Yeah, that's what I've been, those are the non-fiction books that I do have in my, on my, what is it called, bookshelf? Yeah, a bookshelf, like the, the Kindle, the Libby app bookshelf. Um, I don't think of what I'm doing over here, I'm just talking and moving around. Let's see what there is. Ooh, this is so cool. Should I get it now? But where would I put it? <sighs> okay, it'll probably come back around, so. 
Yeah, so what what things do you guys do? These are seasonal. Oh, sunglasses. Um what what things do you guys do to to kind of decompress? No. Ooh, this is so cute. And you can only order five things. Um and how often do you do it? Like for now, this is my first this is cool. Okay, so this is for Jude. I'm gonna have to come back. Oh my word. You see, all of these are new. Or at least new to me because I haven't seen them. Oh, this is so cool. And a dad apron for Father's Day. Um, let's see. For wedding season. Um now for pampering. I would say yeah, I am boring. I would be going back to a book as a pampering thing. Um I guess I would say maybe like um, doing my nails. But for that I would need a big chunk of time because I tend to yeah, look at that's how much I well I had more than that that I brought forward. Um, so I'm gonna deposit some of this. Let's do 50,000. Um, yeah, I did do my nails. I make sure I do have a big chunk of time because I tend to move around a lot and do this and that. You know how you are as a mom, you're never really resting. You're always, there's always something else to do, something you want to accomplish. And so my nails end up messing up. <laughs> or I get impatient and put up too thick of a coat because I want, I want it to be done and um, get back to doing stuff that I need to do. And I end up, and I end up um, messing it up when I sleep because it's a thick coat. I think I can get to my home this way, can I? Um, oh, this, this is, is my home. I was about to say somebody else's home. I'm not sure what I wanted to put over here. But, yeah. It's like... I need to find other things. I do my hair. Too. Sometimes I would sit in front of the TV and watch a long movie while I do my hair. Um, so that is relaxing. Doing hair is that I find relaxing. Um, so I have locks at the moment, so just retightening them, um, which I, they're due, past due. Um, so this is supposed to be my kitchen. Wow. You used to have a fridge and a toaster and a kettle, but I guess the kettle is to store water? I'm not sure. Um, I, I do need to find other things that I can do to relax. I love crafting. And so I've been trying to get back into that. Crafting, sewing, and stuff like that. Um, yeah. So if you were to choose one thing that you would do every day to relax yourself, what would it be? Well, guys, are you going to say bye? And... Wait, how did my son help me with it? Nope, not that. Nope. Oh boy, keep playing. I'm trying to get the, um... Oh boy. Nope. <laughs> oh. How did he do it? Okay, that's there. That's what I pocket. Yeah.
go. Okay, so it is, I have to look at the keys. Uh, ZR, yeah. So guys, this is a short video, but this is my first one. My first game video. Well, technically I did do like three others, but this is my first one. Bye. See you later. Thanks for watching. And please go ahead and put your answers in the bottom. What's the one um, pan breaking or one thing that you would you can do every day that relaxes you? If you could. Yeah. Bye.